What's up guys? Back with another video. Today we're going to continue on my cart setup series. Today's video is going to be about caster and camber. Again, these videos are basically just my feeling of the go-kart and what this particular setup change does when I'm in the cart. I'm going to explain a little bit of how it works, but don't fact check me on this. I'm just going off of kind of what I know, the rough knowledge I know, and what it feels like when I'm in the cart driving with this setup on. So with that being said, let's talk about caster and camber. First, we're going to talk about caster. How that feels on a go-kart is pretty simple. We'll start with taking out caster first. So caster always helps dig the front tires into the ground. It kind of digs the tires into the rubber and helps the go-kart pivot on the nose of the cart. When you remove caster, you end up losing a lot of that initial bite and dig that you get entry into the center of the corner. It definitely slows the front end down and makes it feel a lot lazier. One of the benefits to taking out caster is you do gain a lot of rear stability. When you enter the corner without much caster in it, any little movement you have on the steering wheel doesn't really affect the rear end of the go-kart. There's not much twitch to it and the cart generally stays pretty stable entering the corner and exiting the corner. So if you ever feel like the cart is a bit too twitchy or it's digging in too much in the center of the corner, taking out caster is something that I've done on a bunch of different go-karts that's helped just stabilize the go-kart in the rear and help make the go-kart a little bit lazy. Sometimes that helps, you know, when you're at longer tracks where there's, you know, high speed corners, a lazy go-kart isn't bad. It helps stabilize the cart through the center of the corner and you have just a lot more grip, you know, center off. So next would be adding caster. When you add caster, this adds a lot of grip. It's basically the opposite of taking out caster. When you add caster, it gives you a lot more initial bite out of the tire and it also digs the tire into the ground a lot more as you get to the center of the corner. You get a lot more rear end hike out of the go-kart and you kind of lose a bit of rear stability going through the corner. Something that's different about caster is even though it's a front end change, it does affect the rear of the go-kart quite a bit. Sometimes when I feel like I add caster to the go-kart, I feel like I've gained grip through the whole corner. Um, and that mainly feels like because I've gotten the cart rotated more initially through the corner and I'm much straighter center off. So I'm having less wheel in when I'm on acceleration and the cart is much straighter coming off. So there's less need for the cart to slide. That's something that's just really helped me through the years of karting is just understanding that caster not only helps just on entry into the corner, it can sometimes help get the cart rotated extra so that you're straighter off corner and get a better drive off the corner and there's less need for the go-kart to step out or slide. So basically a simple rule of thumb is caster out creates less initial turn in and less dig through the center of the corner. Caster in creates more initial turn in and more dig in the center of the corner. Next up, we have camber. This is pretty simple. Most drivers can feel this pretty easily, but when you add positive camber, it always makes the cart a lot more twitchy initially and can improve the reaction time of the go-kart. For me, it always adds just that extra little bit of grip that I need. It's not a seriously big change. It can affect the go-kart quite a bit if, for example, you put on new tires. It's definitely something you know, you'd feel pretty drastically on new tires, but you wouldn't feel on older set of tires that much. It just helps improve the reaction time of the go-kart. Obviously, if you keep adding positive, eventually you'll start to end up losing front grip, but you'd have to add quite a bit of positive to get that reaction. Negative camber is basically the opposite of that. You're getting a little less initial reaction out of the go-kart as you enter the center of the corner. Something though that I will say about negative that's not true about positive. Positive, depending on the racetrack, doesn't affect the go-kart that much center off. It mainly just helps you kind of get into the corner, but negative, I feel like it always kind of adds a little bit of grip center off the corner. To me, it's because the cart is a lot more stable getting into the corner and is a little bit less reactive. So I get a little bit more traction center off, but obviously it's per driver. So that's something that I always feel happens. And I know other drivers have a different opinion on that, but that's something to me, every time I add a little bit of negative, I'll lose initial front and then I'll gain a little bit center off of just traction off the corner. So that's it for today's video. It was a very short video, but I hope you guys have a better understanding of caster and camber and how that affects you when you're driving and what setup changes you can make to the go-kart. Thank you guys for watching. Again, make sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Make sure to like and subscribe to this video. Comment any questions or any ideas you guys have of chassis setup changes that would help give you guys a better understanding of what to do when you're at the racetrack. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you at the next one.